What is up, everybody? Ben Heisler here with the bet-sided crew of Donovan Smoot, Ian McMillan, and Reed Wallach. No Peter Dewey with us today. Public Pete is out, but we'll get him back with us the following week. Plenty to dive into in the NFL as it is time every week for our early leans and our best bets of the week. We like to go around the horn, tell you about the plays that we like in the early portion of the week, and hopefully we'll see whether or not the lines move in our direction. Bit of a rough week for us last week in week 14, just one and four against the spread, bringing our total on the season to 36-37 against the spread, but there's plenty of opportunity to bounce back in the win column this week. So I will start with you, Ian. You are looking at Tampa Bay and New Orleans. It is the Sunday night game on NBC. Bucks 11-point favorites at home. They are undefeated against the spread in Raymond James Stadium, and I would imagine that stays the case for you again this week. Yeah, I'm going to take the Bucks to cover the 11-point spread here. Uh, to be honest, I wish both these teams could lose because I hate both of them. But if we got to pick one side, I'll go the Bucks minus 11. The Saints' biggest weakness, they are fantastic at stopping the run, but they're not good at stopping the pass whatsoever. 21st in the NFL in opponent yards per pass attempt, and nobody throws the ball more than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 66.51% of their plays are passing plays, so it's not a good stylistic matchup for the Saints team, and I just can't trust the Saints' offense to be able to keep up uh, with current MVP betting favorite Tom Brady and the Buccaneers offense in this one. So I'm going to take the Bucs to cover the uh, the double-digit spread on Sunday night. All right, Donovan, I head to you next. You're looking at an NFC East matchup in Philadelphia. Eagles are four-and-a-half-point home favorites. Against the Washington football team, they had won four straight, had an opportunity to close in on the Cowboys in their NFC East lead, control their own destiny, and now they no longer do so. But the Eagles coming off a bye, you like them at home. Why? I think that, that the one thing that we know that this Eagles team can do is run the football. They're the best uh, rushing team in the league. They average around 160 rushing yards a game. And Washington has a really good run defense. They're fifth in, in the league in rushing yards allowed per game. But they just gave up 122 yards against the Cowboys. They're a little bit vulnerable. Um, Washington is also bottom 10 in opponent yards per pass and yards per play overall. This defense, the, the rushing statistics make it look better than it is. But I think that this week with Jalen Hurts coming back, He's going to be healthy. That rushing, that rushing attack is going to be a lot better than what we saw against New York and then even, or I guess, against the Giants. But we saw how explosive and how fluent that this offense can be against the Jets. Even if even if Hurts has to come out because that ankle isn't right, Gardner Minshew, he showed that he's he's competent and this team can still, you know, move the ball up and down the up and down the field. Um, Philly's covered in three of the last four games. I think this this bodes well for them. A home divisional game when they really, really need it. I, I really like Philly this week. One article you can read over at Betsided this week is why the Cincinnati Bengals are, are maybe getting a little bit undervalued this week. They are on the road against the Denver Broncos. They are one and a half point dogs in their matchup against uh, Denver. Both these two teams right sort of in the mix of one of those final playoff spots. Reed, you're going to that matchup. Who do you like there? Yeah, this is a... Kind of a winner go home game for the Bengals and Broncos. I have the Bengals as favorites in this game. So I took them to win on the money line plus 105. I, of course, also like them plus one and a half. And if you were looking in the look ahead markets last week, the Bengals were minus three in this game. So why did this line shift four and a half points? Joe Burrow's finger didn't look to be an issue in that near victory over the Niners. Of course, the Bengals lost in overtime, but Burrow looked great. A few uh, clutch throws, threw for over 300 yards. And the Broncos, they beat a beat-up Lions team that nearly couldn't field a full roster. So, again, this seems like an overreaction in the betting market. I'll take the better quarterback. I'll take the better team. Uh, give me Bengals to win this one outright. It, it does feel like a bit of an over overreaction line from the previous week. And you know, speaking of, I, I like the Pittsburgh Steelers at home as underdogs this week, plus two against the Tennessee Titans. Uh, if anybody listened to uh, myself, Reed and Peter on Bet and Breakfast, uh, earlier this week, I made the comparison for, for Ben Roethlisberger to Chet Stedman from Rookie of the Year, where the Rocket just doesn't have much left, but what he's given you, it's all he's got. Um, the Steelers have a propensity to win these types of games, not just cover, but win them, especially as home underdogs. Mike Tomlin, 13-3-2 against the spread as a home underdog in his career. Steelers are 35-13-1 against the spread under Mike Tomlin as a dog. Um, and the Titans, I know that they beat uh, Jacksonville fairly handedly, but uh, the Jaguars are a team in complete and total distress, and they still only averaged about four yards per play. So the Steelers at home, uh, a great team, by the way, to tease. If you like them, maybe you could consider them and the Patriots, who are also two-point favorites this week. Over at WinBet, you can move both those teams past those magic numbers 
of three and seven. So uh, Steelers are going to be my team as home dogs, short home dogs against the Tennessee Titans. Plenty more coverage available for you guys over at BetSided. Just head on over to fansided.com slash BetSided. Also, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and like this video as well over on YouTube. Plenty more to come, including some of our favorite plays for college bowl season over the course of the next few weeks as well.